Well, here I am at uh, Mosquito Creek in North Vancouver, and I often walk Lake I here. And when I come to visit nature, it teaches me lots of things. And I used to internalize them and bring them into my painting and um, creative work. Uh, but I've noticed that uh, it helps to actually have a notebook and take notes on what I experience. So with my notebooks, I found um, that if I have uh, certain materials that allow me to grab gestures and color notes and shapes, values quickly, then I can take them back and uh, make uh, paintings from these. So today I'll be working with uh, some nice paper that is thick and smooth. This one is cold pressed and this one is uh, hot pressed smooth, extra heavy weight, and it allows the ink pens, brush pens to flow quite nicely um, on the white paper, whereas the ivory paper is a little softer and using the brown and sepia colored pens allows the values to be a little softer. So sometimes I can um, just get a, a softer expression with these ones. And this is what I'll try here today. So what I'd like to do first is do a black and white uh, quick gestural sketch with uh, various levels of uh, gray brush pens and so it'll be basically just grabbing the outline of some of these trees while I look at them and the nice thing about these pens is that they have a smaller point and you can add little details with them as you see fit so there's this growth of little leaves coming up here and they look like that. So if I really want to study these, I look at them in all the different directions that they fall off the little branch and more or less vary the direction and size because that's ultimately what you see here at the top here there's these just two little buds of leaves here and even as they hang off they look like they're floating off the branch even though they're all attached so it's fun to to look at some of these things a little detail as well as bring some of the shading in and gestures and the lighter pen you can bring back behind for some of these distant things. But on white paper, these things stand out quite a bit. Um, so I like to have the pens to be just slightly softer than pure black, like this. Um, and you can always bring in the darker tones later and accent some areas, even even fill in a negative shape here. You know, that could be a branch. So you go negative, positive, and play on aspects of drawing right on location. Now in the distance, there's all these lovely organic round like shapes of the rocks that have been smoothed by the water, moss in between. And the moss is brighter than the rock, but the rocks have shadows underneath them. And the water rushes through. That could be a whole painting in itself, but just trying to get some of the gestures of the linear aspects compared to the circular ones. Some are big and some are small. Little rock pile there. And then the bark and the moss of the tree is quite interesting. So this is where the little brush pen with its point can add texture. And I like to vary where that texture is. So I'm not going to put it everywhere. Um, there's a bit of moss here. And it 
flows down. And it just helps me recall when I go and paint a more abstract landscape. These little patterns that start to be observed while taking notes. Um, so it's good to spend some time in nature and just internalize it, breathe it in, and other times uh, you can study it with your art materials and take that with you and study how darks and lights play out and you can vary the values keeping in mind that uh, it's probably good to have a variation of uh, the different levels so ideally if you have a little bit of the darkest dark you may want um, you know a little bit more of uh, the lighter gray and then maybe the mid-tone gray could be somewhere there I think I have a lighter one here yeah, yeah, that's a good mid-tone so we want to keep that level somewhat varied and that way it can play out a nice little composition even though it's just gestural you can squint and see where some of those darks um, end up as the light passes along and then just a few more little gestures for distance and as you go into the distance things get smaller you'll notice a little lighter and when you put things behind another object it gives it depth too and then this tree is solid so I may want to place some some more shadows in here and I'll have a look it's and you can put the same pen over top and make it just slightly darker so there's a lot of nice little line play uh, in this natural setting that we could keep going with but in the end I just wanted to do a quick little black and white sketch uh, so that I can soften it in the ivory one with a little bit of warm colors.